morning, welcome to day nine of Vlogmas. So it's Friday today. Friday's come round again already. I feel like this week has gone quite fast. I think with filming Vlogmas, I'm sort of busy um, filming and then doing things and filming and editing. So the week just seems to go by in a bit of a blur. And it's another icy day outside, but not quite as cold as yesterday. But I think it is set to get colder again. I think, and my husband said it's due to get down to about minus six sometime over the next few days. So that is pretty cold for here. But I'm actually quite enjoying it. I do like winter. I think it's probably my favourite season. And it's really pretty here at the moment because we've had some really lovely sunny days. And the trees are looking lovely and autumnal. I think we had such a mild autumn. The leaves haven't really started to fully fall off the trees yet. But now it's been really lovely because the sun's been catching the light on the trees and the leaves are starting to fall. So it's almost like sort of winter and autumn combined. So it's been really, really nice. But yeah, so I'm enjoying this weather, even though it is quite chilly and it is a nice opportunity to get out lots of my wintry outfits. But before I talk about what I'm wearing, I'll start this video off again as ever with what we found Elf up to this morning. So we came down this morning and found Elf had got crafty again. And this time he'd left a little trail um, from his little Elf box to the place where he was of little sweet wrappers. Um, I've been collecting sweet wrappers for ages, just um, when we have a box of sort of quality street or something at Christmas. I've kept the wrappers just for crafty activities, but we haven't really done anything with them. So Elf obviously found them in our craft drawers, got them out and uh, made a little trail of sweetie wrappers, which took him to, or took us to where he was. And he'd made a little um, Elf to pop up on the door um, in the glass. I'll put it up so you can see what it looks like. It almost looks a bit like he was trying to recreate a stained glass window that you might find in church or something like that. But obviously he'd gone for an elf and it was quite pretty. So my children were quite impressed with his artistic skills today. Um, he obviously had a bit of fun doing that. So that is what elf was up to. And then in terms of what I'm wearing today, well, I've got on a top and skirt combination. This skirt is one of my more recent makes, um, but I'll talk about the top first because you can see it. Um, it is a South Bank sweater by Nina Lee, which is this pattern here. It's a pattern I really love for this time of year. You can make it as a sweater dress or a kind of classic um, sweater length or a cropped version here. It's got this nice stand up collar that's fairly loose, but quite snugly. It's got cuffs on the sleeves. And if you make the dress, it's got a cuff on the hem band. It's a fairly close fitting sweater. It's not like an oversized sweater, like a lot of patterns um, I find are the sort of more recent patterns. It's a bit more fitted, but it's a really nice one. And I talked in more detail actually about this pattern in a recent video I did, where I talked about all of my Nina Lee sewing makes because I made a few South Banks of different styles. So I'll link that video in case you fancy hearing lots about the South Bank sweater, but it's a really nice pattern. It's got a good size range. I think it goes from a UK six up to the UK 28. And the version I'm wearing today is the cropped version. I'll stand up a bit so you can see. I really like the cropped version actually. I've got a couple of these, one in a black and then a navy, and I find they are so versatile and go with so many things in my wardrobe, like jeans or dresses or a skirt like I'm wearing today. And the version I'm wearing today, I made in one of my cozy colours fleece back sweatshirting fabrics. Um, I think I wore the red version earlier in Vlogmas in a and that might have been in a toaster sweater. I love these fabrics. And um, I think when I looked online, Guthrie Garni had a lot of them in stock in quite a few different colourways. So if there's a black, I'll link the black particularly down below. But it's got this nice flex in it. It's not too thick a fleece back fabric. So it's really nice to wear and feel cosy, but not yet yeah, too cosy. And I made, I think the size eight. Um, yeah, I made the size eight on this pattern, which is pretty much bang on for my waist and hips, but two inches larger than my bust. It's designed for a bust of 34 inches. But I know the Neenly patterns come up on the fitted side and I wanted to be able to layer up my South Bank. So yeah, I thought that was fine. And even then there's not a load of room here. It's definitely not an oversized sweatshirt by any means, but it's keeping me nice and cozy. And I think it goes really nicely with the skirt I'm wearing today. And the skirt I'm wearing today is a midi length skirt, which is a length I haven't historically gone for, but in recent months I've started to enjoy. And where's my pattern for this? I got it somewhere. Um, I need to find it one second. Got the pattern now, it just slipped down onto the floor. So this is the skirt pattern I'm wearing today. It is the Sabina skirt pattern by The Little Pomegranate. It's a woven skirt pattern. And what's really cool about this pattern is it's free. Um, it's quite easy to get hold of. You just need to go on the Little Pomegranate website, which I'll link down below. 
And if you enter your um, email address to sign up to the newsletter, you'll then automatically get emailed all of the um, instructions and um, pattern files to make the Sabina skirt. And I really love this skirt pattern. It's a bit different for me being a midi length. That's kind of a new thing for me that I haven't worn historically. I've always gone for sort of shorter above the knee length skirts, but I'm really enjoying the midi length at the moment, actually. But I'll show you the line drawings of the Sabina skirt. It's a really nice, simple sew. It does describe this pattern as being suitable for beginners. It's got an elasticated waist and these slash pockets that are quite nice and roomy and they're also secured onto the waistband so they don't sort of sag down. Um, and then it's got quite a long main skirt with a little ruffle at the bottom. And I really love the proportions of this skirt. I love how it's just a small ruffle on the bottom. I think it's a really nice detail. And when I wear my versions, I really love the little swish you get from the ruffle at the bottom. But the actual main skirt's got quite a lot of room in it too. So, for example, when I was walking up to school this morning, walking quite fast on the school run, there was plenty of room um, to walk. It didn't feel restrictive at all, which is quite handy when you've got small children who are on scooters who go much faster than you. So yeah, that's the skirt. It sews up really nicely. The instructions in this pattern are really awesome. There's loads of detail through the whole pattern. Um, if you're a beginner, there's loads of explanations of sewing terms and things. So it really helps you work through this pattern and it comes together really, really nicely. And for my version, um, I made the size 8, um, which was bang on my measurements, waist 26, hips 36. And the only adjustment I made for my version was to add an inch to the length. Um, I made a summer version previously and I just made the version, the, my summer version just per the pattern with no adjustments. But for my winter version, I thought I'd make it a little bit longer to bring it slightly close to my ankle to make it extra cosy. But I'll stand up a bit so you can see the fabric I made my Sabina skirt in. Pop those papers there. So I made this Sabina skirt, my winter version, in this Visco Shally fabric that I got from Minerva. And I knew I wanted to make a winter Sabina skirt with a black base and a white print on. I just had it in my mind. And I looked on the Minerva website and they had quite a few different options um, for Visco Shally with that print. And I chose this one. I really like the kind of size and scale of the print. And it was quite reasonably priced as well. Um, I'll link it down below. I think it's still in stock. And it's quite a nice quality, actually. It's quite a decent weight of Visco Shally. It's not super lightweight, so perfect for a slightly cosier winter skirt. So yeah, it sewed up really nicely and I really love the Sabina in a Visco, so I think the drape works really well with the ruffles and things. I'm not sure I would like the Sabina so much in a slightly stiffer fabric for me. I like the fact that it is quite drapey and swishy in the viscose. So yeah, that is my Sabina skirt. I'll pop a picture up so you can see what it looks like on. Actually, although the viscose is quite a lightweight fabric um, compared to sort of other fabrics I might be wearing in winter, once I've got this on paired with a pair of tights underneath, it does feel really cosy to wear. So I'm pleasantly surprised by how yeah, cosy I feel in my Sabina skirt and my South Bank sweater. And I think that combination goes quite nicely together. So that is what I'm wearing today. So the next thing I wanted to share this morning was a couple of pictures I managed to get yesterday of me wearing my new Freya top that I finished yesterday. Um, you'll have seen this top if you saw my yesterday day eight vlogmas video and um, here it is it is the freya top by till in the buttons from their stretch book and i made it in this really lovely um cotton rib knit fabric that i was gifted by minerva in exchange for a blog post it's really nice cozy fabric and i really enjoyed sewing with it it sewed up really nicely into this freya top so i've got a couple of pictures so i'll pop them up here so you can see what it looks like on yeah i'm really looking forward to getting this one out and wearing it a lot this winter i'm really happy with it um i also yesterday wrote up my minerva blog post so i'll link that down below in case you fancy having a read of all the details of my freya top but yeah i won't talk too much about it because i talked a bit about it yesterday but i thought you might like to see a couple of pictures now i've got to take those and then yesterday evening i also managed to squeeze in a bit more sewing which was nice I don't often sew in the evenings these days. We don't seem to have much time um, to ourselves once my son has gone up to bed. Now he's going to bed a bit later. When he was younger, I used to get into bed earlier and I'd do a lot of sewing in the evenings. Um, but yeah, these days, not so much. It's mainly a little bit of knitting on the sofa, just a few rows. But last night he had cubs and my husband was doing the um, ferrying to and from cubs this week. And my daughter came downstairs to have a little play because she wanted to wait up until my son got home. But she got really stuck into an imaginary game. So I thought while she was busy in her world, I would get the sewing machine out and I sewed up some of my bunting. So here it is. And I'm really happy with how it came together. Um, See, so yeah, I've got 10 flags on this bunting using this cute Christmassy fabric I've had for absolutely ages and didn't really know what to do with it. So it's nice to finally put it to use. 
so yeah it was a nice simple um, project I do like um, stitching down bias binding I find it quite a satisfying thing to pop on it's kind of yeah sewing where you don't need to think too much about it I guess um, I measured carefully so that the gaps within between each piece of binding are nice and even and I tried to cut out the flags so they all um, start at a similar point you can see they all start just above the heart um, yeah so hopefully they look quite nice and even so yeah, I've got 10 flags on here, so that's going to go on one of our windows. And then I've got another 10 flags to sew, which will go on another window. We've got two windows that are quite similar sizes that will work quite well to have the bunting on those. So I'm going to go and pop it up in a moment. I wanted to show you first, and then hopefully I'll pop it up. And all being well, I'll pop a picture up here so you can see what it looks like up against our window. So yeah, I'm, that was quite nice to be able to get a bit of that done. So I've got one more lot to do that I might do today or maybe over the weekend sometime. It's quite a nice quick thing to get on with without having to think too much. So yeah, I'm quite pleased to have used up that fabric. So I also wanted to show you that. And then the one other thing I wanted to share with you this morning is a new make. It's a new knitted make that I shared on Instagram this week. And it's a bit of a funny one because I actually finished this one in the summer. So quite a while ago now. Um, but I didn't share it at that point on Instagram or YouTube because it felt so seasonally inappropriate. Um, I remember actually finishing it in the summer and trying it on just for the fit and thinking, oh, it's far too hot to be trying on such cosy knitted items. So I thought I'd save sharing it until the weather got a bit more cooler and people might be getting in the mood for some wintry knitting and things. So it might be a yeah, better time to share it then. And it's a hack of one of my favourite We Are Knitters patterns, which is the Hackney Cardigan. I'll put a picture up of the Hackney cardigan so you can see what it looks like. I think I was wearing one of my versions of this cardigan earlier in Vlogmas, so you may have seen that recently too. It's a really nice relaxed fit drop shoulder cardigan. Um, it's designed to be worn open, it doesn't have any buttons or buttonholes. And it's, yeah, it's designed to be not too tight fitting, just very, very easy wearing. And it's knitted up in the Merry Wool, which is We Are Knitters Squishy Soft 100% Merino Wool. It's like an Aran or Worsted weight, but it's on the chunky side of Aran or Worsted weight. And I've knitted up two versions of the Hackney cardigan, just as the pattern intended. One in a navy blue and one in a mustard sort of colour. But I saw on the We Are Knitters website that they also had the Merry Wool available in this really beautiful um, speckly wool called Sprinkle Fantasy. And I sort of fell in love with this yarn and thought I had to get it and make something in it. And I loved the idea of making quite a slouchy cozy wintry cardigan that I could wear just over maybe like a plain t-shirt and pair of jeans and the cardigan would be sort of like a more of a feature piece I guess. So I'll show you the wool itself here knitted up this is the sleeve of my cardigan. As you can see it's really really gorgeous wool at least I think so. Um, it's got this sort of creamy peachy base colour and then loads of different flecks in different colours which is so pretty and when I knitted this cardigan up I really enjoyed knitting it because it was really fun seeing the different flecks appear as I knitted along. So yeah, it was a really enjoyable knit. I, I just, yeah, this sort of seeing the flecks appear, didn't the novelty didn't wear off. I enjoyed it the whole way through knitting this cardigan, really. So I decided for this pink, um, Sprinkle Fantasy yarn, I wanted to make a bit of a hack of a Hackney cardigan. I thought instead of knitting up in moss stitch like it's intended to be knitted, I'd change it to stocking stitch because I thought a stocking stitch is such a simple stitch. It would really showcase all the beauty of the yarn. You could see all the detail of the different flecks of colour. So that is what I did. And here is my hack technique cardigan in this sprinkle fantasy yarn. I'm really happy with how it turned out. I think it works really well in the stocking stitch and it looks lovely and chunky. Um, and then I added on a slightly chunkier bottom band at the bottom of the cardigan, hem band, I mean, at the bottom of the cardigan and slightly chunkier um, cuffs as well on the sleeves just to make it a really chunky cozy cardigan for winter so just a few tweaks to the pattern other than that I sewed it up in a size um, I think a size medium which I think I mentioned in my recent videos I generally size up one size on my knitters patterns because I knit a bit more tightly than their tension and I've, I've tried to knit a bit more loosely and achieve their tension but I just don't find it comfortable I've got a tension that I find works well for me and that I can knit quite evenly at so I've gone for that and just sized up yeah, I'm really happy with how this cardigan turned out and I just love this wool um, it's just so cozy and really pretty too and I'll pop up a picture of me wearing the cardigan so you can see what it looks like on it's turned out how I wanted which is a nice relaxed fit cardigan that I'll be able to just yeah throw on over other layers to give me yeah make me feel cozy but also make me feel happy wearing this pretty yarn so I'll link this yarn down below it's really really pretty it is more expensive but I find 
on the Witness websites, they often run promotional offers and things. So if you're interested in any kits or yarns from We Knitters, it's worth kind of keeping an eye to make sure you get it when there's a good deal on. So yeah, that is my Hackney cardigan hacked to make it in stocking stitch. Um, yeah, I thought I'd share that now because um, yeah, it's definitely getting to the weather where I'll be wearing this one. <laughs> So I think that's everything that I've got to share this morning. So I'll finish up here and I'll pop back on a little bit later. At the moment, my plans for today are a little bit up in the air. Um, I'm supposed to be meeting up with my friends um, today that we were supposed to meet up yesterday, but we postponed because my friend's daughter was poorly, but she's back in school now. Um, so we've been on the text, but haven't we haven't arranged yet exactly where we're going to meet, but hopefully we'll fit that in today. Um, also, it's the school Christmas fair after school. And they want helpers to come along a bit earlier to help set up. So I'm going to hopefully go along and do that too. So hopefully I'll be able to squeeze those both in. And I've got a few chores to do as well that I'll hopefully fit in. So I'm not sure if any sewing will get done today. But I'll see how I get on. And I'll pop in a bit later and update you on what I've been up to. So yeah, see you in a little bit. Bye. It's after lunch now and I just put in a bit of footage of me walking back home from meeting my friends. We managed to link up, we ended up going for lunch in town which is really nice. Um, I had tapas, I took a picture to show you so I'll pop it up here. It was very yummy, nice and warming for this cold weather. But as you can see from the walk home video, it's lovely and sunny here so it was a really nice day to walk into town so I did enjoy getting out in the fresh air even if it was a bit chilly. Um, I definitely layered up with hats and gloves and all that sort of thing. But my plan now is to head up to the school to help out with setting up the um, Christmas fair and then I'll take my children to the Christmas fair after school so it'll be a bit of a busy evening doing that and then heading home for the usual um, dinner and bedtime and that sort of thing. So I think I'll finish off this video here because I haven't got much more crafty um, content planned for today and then I'll be back on again tomorrow. Um, so it'll be the weekend tomorrow and we're not going away or anything, we're having a weekend at home. We've got various things planned so I'll take you along on our weekend but I'm planning on releasing a Saturday and a Sunday video separately so two videos across the weekend this weekend because we'll be at home on Saturday evening so I'll be able to edit the Saturday video unlike last weekend. I'll probably be doing my editing while watching the football because it's a big match for England tomorrow evening. So that is my plan. So I hope you'll join me for my um, day 10 vlogmas tomorrow. Um, in the meantime, I hope you have a lovely day. Thank you again for watching and yes, see you tomorrow. Bye.